So talking about beautiful people, my mother decided to come out and join us tonight. Yes, yes. Everybody thinks their mom is amazing. Fuck that. My mom's the best. And like, I'm gonna give you this woman's resume real quick. She's a single mother, retired military, and puts the fuck up with me. Like, you might as well spell this woman's name G-O-A-T, the GOAT, or as I like to call her, Wonder Woman. And she did teach me the most important thing I know in life. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. I just took that as a challenge, so you can blame her for anything I say tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so I recently got out of a relationship too. I lost 200 pounds. Yes! Uh, <laughs> 60 pounds of fat, 140 of sheer bitch. <laughs> I didn't just lose that 200 pounds though. I did lose a woman willing to name my firstborn Luke Skywalker May. <laughs> and do you know how hard that shit is to find? You have to really trust in the forks here. Other devastating news I got. I found out my grandma has dementia. And I have to look on the bright side of this. At least you won't remember. <laughs> hey, that's her favorite joke. <laughs> she laughs at it every time like it's the first time. <laughs> the three extra birthday cards really help too. <laughs> All right, I'm from Alaska, guys. So, and I noticed, and I love living in Spokane, but I noticed something when I got down here. You guys just aren't that neighborly. And that's not on you. You didn't have to outrun a moose to school every day. And you certainly never sat down at your desk and the one empty, is next to you is empty, and you're just like, that moose got Timmy. <laughs> and being from Alaska, I really like getting in touch with nature. I piss on a tree every chance I get. <laughs> a little bit more of an unknown fact about Alaskans, I think, is um, we like smoked marijuana. <laughs> I mean, how else do you get the bright idea to move next to fucking polar bears? <laughs> and I'm going to give you some advice about getting high and what not to do real quick. The first thing you don't do when you get high, get a puppy. <laughs> That's how you end up with a black lab named Toquisha. <laughs> and I know you all want to hear this story now, and so I'll tell you. Me and my buddy got high one day. I woke up the ne next day with a black lab named Toquisha. <laughs> Not that interesting. <laughs> Something else you know, don't need to be doing while you're high is revisiting your favorite childhood cartoons. Because I started with Powerpuff Girls, and I looked at those bras in a perspective. Well, no, 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 no. I meant to say I looked at the show in a broad perspective. And I started realizing what each character brought to the team. Like Blossom, she's over there like Freddie Mercury singing, I am a champion, getting the team together. Then you got Bubbles just looking cute over there like eh, eh. <laughs> Then you got Buttercup, the boy. <laughs> you all laugh, you laugh, and it's because you know it's true. Because you wore green, it was always ready to throw hands. Nope. <laughs> uh, so I uh, did move on to Captain Planet. And you really should look at that show for what it is. Because it's five teenagers running around thinking they have the five elements on a raise. I've seen a periodic table. 
There's a lot more than five, and one is not love. <laughs> but they're falling around a dude made of crystal with green hair claiming to fly. Can anybody else say drug dealer? <laughs> and the last thing you should never, ever do while you're high, though, is go to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Without a kid. <laughs> hey, I gotta get my fill! Come on! Where else am I gonna see a, two parents arguing over whose kid actually pissed in the ball pit? <laughs> Spoiler alert, it was me. <laughs> and the nerdy manager found out about this in the middle of my ski ball game with a nine year old. Whooping that ass, might I add. <laughs> And he's like, sir, you have to get your kid in late. Well, I'm high, paranoid, not wanting an argument. So I just get, snack the night here on the leaf. <laughs> What's your name? Papa? Nah, I think it's George now. <laughs> well, that's my advice about what you should do when you get high. So, I'm pretty sure the Clintons had Jeffrey Epstein killed. It's not like I give a fuck. I mean, the dude had a private island with a private plane to fly him there with the Clintons on it and a speedboat to escape from that island. That dude was a Bond villain. You could have just called him Jeffrey Goldfinger. And Sean Connery is nowhere to be found when we need him. Where is he? Fucking our moms. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave you guys with this, and I'm super tired of this. I can't stand that I can't have a conversation with politics not being brought up. Some jackass came over to me the other day and was like, "James, how do you feel about that wall?" I don't give a fuck. It's not stopping the British from stealing our superheroes. <laughs> like, and they didn't even just come for the A-list superheroes. They came for the B-list superheroes, too. Doctor Strange is played by Benedict Cumberbatch. With a name like that, you come out of the womb, knighted. Just like, I got the Sir Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> That's how that shit works, guys. And then they got the grimy hands on Spider-Man twice. Tom Holland and Andrew Garfield are both British. <clears throat> Am I the only one over here missing Toby? <laughs> but America doesn't play that shit. We all know that. So we stole the closest thing they had to a superhero. Sherlock Holmes. And Robert Downey Jr. is the only actor that could have ever done this. Because he made us forget what he did in the 90s by go growing some facial hair and going by the name Tony Stark. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to fill you in on what it is that he did in the 90s, guys. Miles of hookers and cocaine. <laughs> I'm James May. Give it up for your host, John Hobbs. And you guys have a great audience.